All right, today on today's dietitian panel, I aim to increase awareness of our profession as dietitians and answer common questions on the topics of nutrition, food and diet and disease. I want to promote a healthy relationship with food and help you to see food as I do, as our bodies, fuel and tools. My name is Amy Giannotti. I'm a personal trainer and dietitian and also a running coach and sports dietitian. I also have my own food product called Amy's Grains and work for my own private practice, Eating Fit in South Yarra. I would li now like to introduce my beautiful panellists, um, starting with Tim. Wonderful. Um, Amy, thank you very much for the invitation to speak and also uh, hello to everybody joining in on Facebook Live or watching later. Uh, my name is Tim Crow. I'm a uh, Associate Professor of Nutrition at Deakin University and also an advanced accrediting practicing dietitian. Long word. Uh, when I'm not fully immersed in teaching and research, you'll find me very active on social media through my Thinking Nutrition Facebook page and blog, and also in the media as well. So I'm very excited to be involved to uh, talk all things nutrition and nerd it up with a bit of science today as well. Thank you. Hi everyone, and thanks again, Amy, for the invite. It's great to be here with everyone today. My name is Terry Luchtenstein. I'm an accredited practicing dietitian and sports dietitian and a nutritionist. I work in the area of nutrition marketing, so I've got my own business called Food Bites, providing nutrition marketing consulting to the food industry and health industry. Another passion of mine is in the area of um, early childhood nutrition. I'm a mom of two young kids and I'm a passionate believer in developing competent eaters in young children so that they um, can gain the skills to enjoy all foods later in life. And Emily. Thank you. Thanks again, Amy, for the invitation today. So my name's Emily. I'm also an accredited practicing dietitian, nutritionist, and personal trainer located in Melbourne um, under my business, Selective Nutrition. Um, I run a lot of private consultations, um, food talks, as well as um, cooking classes. Thank you. Thanks again, Amy, for bringing us all together. My name is Nina Nguyen, and I'm a dietitian and personal trainer based in Melbourne. I have a keen interest in sports nutrition, aged care, and also the relationship between the mind and the gut. Thanks, Amy, for today's opportunity to speak. So my name's Andrew Hopang, and I'm a clinical and sports dietitian, and I also work in academia. Um, I also own and operate a business called DEXA Melbourne, where we bring uh, DEXA scanning services to both clinical and sports clients. Fantastic. And Mel has just popped in, so we're gonna um, have a quick intro from Mel, but um, thanks for that, Andrew. <laughs> this is what happens when we go live. <laughs> no worries, perfect, just in time. And just want to introduce yourself briefly, Mel. Ah, well, <laughs> um, I have been an accredited practicing dietitian for almost 15 years now and have a real passion to uh, help people and make a difference, particularly women. Um, so I have special interest areas in fertility, polycystic ovarian syndrome, and pregnancy. It's probably a little bit about me. Yeah. Thank you very much. <laughs> and I'd also like to thank Lucky Penny for this beautiful cafe and function room we have today. Nice um, light lit room on Chapel Street. Um, so this panel discussion idea originated from a post that I created um, last week um, offering to answer questions around nutrition and um, health and diet and disease and I had an overwhelming response um, so I decided um, to get a whole panel together. I also attended an event um, yeah, not so long ago um, with a lot of people in the food and health and wellness industry and there was a huge turnout and a huge interest um, for people wanting to find out these answers and I was actually quite shocked to see that these answers weren't really, um, well, these questions weren't really answered, and I think most of the people left that event more confused and probably scared about, you know, what do I eat? Um, so today I've called upon a very unique team to help answer your questions. So the questions that I posted, or I got posted, and emailed to me, so thank you very much for that. And um, the topics I attend um, to cover fall under some categories. So firstly, what is a dietitian? Um, weight loss, healthy eating, body composition, sports nutrition and performance, older adult nutrition, and medical. <laughs> um, so there were many questions demonstrating confusion around what a dietitian is. So there were questions such as, how is it different from a nutritionist and a naturopath? 
What is involved in becoming a dietitian? What is involved in seeing a dietitian? And don't you have to be an athlete or have a serious medical condition to see a dietitian? Um, so who could kick this off? So fairly expensive, I'll give you the, the short answer. Generally for someone calling themselves a, a dietitian professionally, it's what setting they're working. So typically a dietitian may be working more of a medical setting, uh, dealing with the management in individuals, particularly in a, in a clinical area. Um, nutritionists and dietitian are very similar. They have a, a, a very similar training base, but it's really the application of their knowledge. So nutritionists may deal with more uh, with public health areas and dealing with the, the well and preventing disease, whereas a dietitian sort of deals with the pointy end of, of the clinical side of management. Uh, the training is very similar in its base, but it's really the extra knowledge you gain when you do a dietetics degree. But that's no different if you are a food scientist, you do extra training on top of your basic nutrition degree. So it's really the setting, not so much what the person is doing. Uh, unfortunately, the word nutrition and dietitian, uh, nutritionist and dietitian are not regulated, so anybody can call them that. Hence, we have an accredited practicing dietitian. So you've got somebody who has done a recognized degree that's got the requisite knowledge to be giving you advice about your medical conditions. And I might let someone else deal with some of the other issues. <laughs> Um, I'll just make another comment exactly what Tim said you know as in any most professions nowadays you can do some additional training I think all the dietitians sitting at this room I mean Mel said how she's got a special interest in pregnancy and fertility and I think if you are looking to seek out a special you know a dietitian for a specific area or specific concern of yours or nutrition um, problem that you might have it really is important to focus on someone that will have those specific skills and experience fantastic any comments on this end of the table. Uh, You're it. <laughs> yeah. uh, I definitely agree. I work in, um, a, in a private setting, so I have the ability to see a range of clients, but there are areas, as a dietitian myself, I don't have great experience, so I would also refer to a specialist dietitian in those areas. Um, so definitely what Terry said, I think that's really important for you. If you, if you have a very unique need, it's in, uh, about finding the right person for you. There were some great answers. The next topic I want to cover is weight loss. <laughs> so the golden question, how do you lose weight, or more so, how do you lose weight and keep it off? So questions around this topic included, um, so I'm just going to start off by reading out some of the questions I was posted. If I'm trying to lose weight and stick to a calorie budget, e.g. 1500 calories, does it matter what I eat, such as pasta or just protein and vegetables? I'll be happy to start with this one. <laughs> um, look, absolutely. I do think it's very important uh, what you eat. And actually, I was doing an interview this morning for a big multinational uh, company and a, a company who actually sells products that I don't tend to recommend. Um, but I was happy to give my points because what I was saying to them is that I think these days we focus too much. Uh, they're, they're planning on putting out a new advertising campaign um, about moderation and they're I guess question to me was, well, are we doing a good thing, uh, doing all these helpful campaigns for consumers? And my viewpoint is, no, it's not just about, uh, you know, changing sugary products to diet sugar products and so forth. It should actually be about getting enough nutrition. And it gets me frustrated that we hear that over and over again. Oh, we'll have... <laughs> You know, don't, don't have this product, but have this product that's a diet version of the product, um, when we're actually missing out on key nutrients. And so I'd like to go back to focusing more on what we need in our diets as opposed to diet this, diet that, and diet the other. Thanks, Mel, that's great. And I, I'd, I'd almost give sort of a slightly different viewpoint on that, totally agree with what you're saying. Um, I actually don't practice uh, in clinical practice anymore as a private dietitian, but when I did, um, I definitely promoted a lot of the non-diet approach to some of my clients. And I think further to that point, you make a very good point that people are looking, you know, they, they're trying to change one solution for an alternative solution. Um, personally, what I loved about the non-diet approach, and it's not suitable for, for everyone, is that it really embraced eating all types of food and focusing on health, you know, making sure that you are at your healthiest, not saying, you know, cut out that food or necessarily swap one thing for, for another. Yeah, fantastic. Because at the end of the day, yes, to lose weight, we do need to be in an energy deficit. And that can be made up of just, say, Tim Tams or McDonald's if that equals, you know, say 3,000 kilojoules. And yeah, we're going to be losing weight. But that doesn't mean we're getting all those ranges of foods and, you know, eating from all those food groups where we're going to meet all our nutrition requirements. And is that sustainable and long term? 
Um, yeah, so very good. Um,